In today's video, we're going to look at how you can use generative AI and 3D scanning to create some really cool videos with dynamic camera movements. Let's dive right into the filming process. You can use an app called Luma AI. This is a groundbreaking tool that lets you create a 3D scan of your subject and its surroundings. It's as simple as recording video from various angles. You can use anything from a DSLR to your smartphone or even a drone. There are some guidelines to follow to get the best quality output, which I've covered in a separate detailed tutorial. It's worth checking if you're keen to unlock the full potential of Luma AI. I. Once you've captured your footage, all you need to do is upload it to Luma Labs and let the magic happen. Once the 3D scan is ready, you have a couple of options. You can use preset trajectories for simple camera movements and preview them directly on your browser, or use keyframes to create your own custom animations and it's like getting a second chance at your shoot. At this stage, you're only seeing a low quality preview, but trust me, the details and quality will improve once you render. You can set the aspect ratio, FPS, and even choose a background color to fill in any missing pixels. When you're happy with everything, choose a resolution for your video. I usually opt for the highest possible and hit render. This part takes a few minutes, but at the end, you will have a stunning rendered video ready for download, which you can now use as an input and transform it into a stylized AI animation. For this particular video, I've used an AI called Warp Fusion. It's a fantastic tool that can turn your regular videos into into something truly imaginative. The only issue is it does take a bit of time and effort to set up and use, but don't worry, I've got a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install and use Warp Fusion, including some key settings and tips to help you get some pretty impressive results. I'll drop a link to the video below, and if you're feeling adventurous and want to dive deeper into the world of transformative AI, there are other methods out there that can give you similar or even better results. AI extensions like Animate Diff, which runs on Comfy UI can deliver more consistency and higher quality results. If you're a bit unsure about which one to choose, I would recommend Animate Diff. It's newer and generally simpler to use. All you have to do is load your video, set your output resolution, tweak some settings, use prompts to describe the output you want and let it run. I won't go into too much details on how to use it in this video because I've already uploaded a dedicated tutorial on how to install and use Animate Diff, so you can follow that to stylize your video. Alright, once you've got your Luma render and AI animation, it's time to bring them into your editing software. I'd personally suggest using Adobe After Effects because it gives you a whole lot more creative control and freedom than other software. If you're new to After Effects and it seems overwhelming, I recommend watching this learning path on Skillshare. It's designed to familiarize you with essential features in After Effects. It will guide you on how to add movement to your illustrations along with other skills, taking you from beginner to pro in no time. Skillshare is actually the world's largest online learning community and it provides learning paths for different experience levels. If you're already proficient in After Effects and want to explore other powerful tools like expressions and joysticks, Skillshare has a learning path for that. You will also find a range of top-notch classes created by industry leaders across various categories such as graphic design, generative AI, content creation, and more. Skillshare is sponsoring today's video and if you're one of the first 500 people to sign up through the link below, you will get free access to the entire class library for a full month. Now let's jump back into After Effects, create a new composition and add your Luma video. If it's not looking quite right, you can adjust it with Lumetri Color. I also recommend adding an effect called Real Smart Motion Blur for a more natural feel to your camera motion. Next up, let's layer the AI animation on top and don't forget to grade it separately using Lumetri Color. You've probably noticed some smooth transitions in my final video between the Luma render and the AI animation. Here's how I did it. I split the AI animation layer into shorter segments where I wanted it to appear. I then used this ink spread video for the transition. Setting it as the track mat for your animation video makes it work like a mask, which makes your animation appear or disappear 
appear smoothly. You can also play around with other effects like gradient wipe for different type of transitions. The full After Effects project file along with the original footage are available for my Patreon subscribers and it's a great way to learn more about the process. And hey, if you create a video based on this breakdown, don't forget to tag me on socials. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Stay creative and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.